You got keratoconus. Keratoconus is terrible. The reason why it's terrible is I've seen thousands of patients with keratoconus. More than 99.9% .9 of optometrists um, here at Insight Radiant Center, we've seen, I have days where every patient has keratoconus. And um, first of all, how, how many people get keratoconus? Maybe one, this, this studies vary. It might be one in 500, one in 2,000. So if an optometrist sees one, like let's say 3,000 patients a year or 4,000, they might see one or two patients with keratoconus. I see one or two every hour. <laughs> so just to give you an idea of how many patients with keratoconus I've seen. Um, and what happens with keratoconus, the number one problem with keratoconus steepens the cornea, but it makes the vision blurry. Sometimes it's not about seeing, they, they can still sometimes even squint out and see, you know, 20, 40, 20, 50. They can read letters on the chart. That's not the problem. It's the glare that they get. It's the weird streaks of light. It's the, the halos around things. It's the fuzziness that's undescribable, that's indescribable sometimes for those patients. So how do you get rid of that? Well, because it's a disease of pointy cornea, what we do is we need to make this cornea somehow back to the original shape. How do we do that without just replacing the whole cornea? We usually do that with putting a, like a shell over it. We do scleral lenses at our office. We basically put a shell on it over the weird pointed cornea. Now the new eye is shaped like, the, the, well, the eye is now, it believes it's shaped like this. A normal average shaped cornea with a, because we used a, we cheated, we used a scleral lens. That's one thing we do to basically cheat when it comes to patients with keratoconus. We say, you got a pointy cornea, no problem. We just put a shell over it, you're back to normal, back to seeing 2020. But most importantly, getting rid of those halos and glare.